All right, hey guys, welcome in today. We are doing Barack Obama step, step by step. step. We are drawing inspiration from his famous campaign. Sure, that Shepard Fairey, the artist that created that. A little that. tribute to that as we go through the step by step, talk about history. And I actually got my Obama bumper sticker here from 2008, a uh, little nostalgic piece. Get started, we'll set this stuff aside. We'll about, about, probably about the size of my hand um, for his head shape, for any head shape that we do. Um, I'll start out lightly. Kind of like our oval for Obama. Uh, egg shape kind of going down and then up and then connecting those two. This one I'm going to have a little bit of a turn to it uh, as we go to the bottom and then about halfway in between. So kind of in that middle part, I'm going to put a dot because I know that one eye is going to be on one side, one eye is going to be on the other side. As we do that eye shape, it'll kind of go up and then down like a football up and then down. The other part of that football kind of finishes out the bottom underneath with a curve. Go out to a point. Usually the top part of it goes a little bit longer to the side for the eyelashes. And top is a little bit thicker also. And then in between, the nose will kind of come down. I want to get an idea there, not too dark. But then I want the outside of the nose, I always do like a parenthesis on one side and then a parenthesis on the other side. Usually kind of match up with the inside of the eye. Stretch that outside. And then his nostrils. That'll be a curve going up. And then probably about a pencil's width underneath that little space. Be kind of that center of the M shape. That goes out to one side and then out to the other side. Stops about at the middle of the eye. As I'm looking, he kind of looks kind of zombie-fied here because we haven't done his circle. I forgot to put his circle inside the eye. So go and go, be going over a little bit darker, but as you kind of start to fill that in, you'll leave a little bit of a white or a highlight. In the middle there, so just on the outside, you can fill that darker. Same thing over here, getting just about to the bottom and definitely touches the top, but almost touches the bottom, but not quite. Okay, back down to the mouth now. It'll come close and then come out and then over. So it kind of has that U shape on the bottom and then that M shape on the top. And it helps me frame in the chin a little bit as I kind of put the marks over here. He's got a pretty skinny head as he goes around here and then shape up where his hair would kind of start and then it angles down angles down over here to the side of his face and understanding like I said that it kind of comes in the middle but that's not that you know his hair still goes a little bit even though his hair is a little bit shorter it kind of rounds on the top and then kind of tapers on the sides on each of the sides goes down a little bit smaller to kind of match that up and then definitely one of his trademark features is his ears. His ears are kind of a little bit large like Mr. Shooty's and they kind of pop out a little bit and that kind of bumps out and then over. And that starts to make him look a little bit more like him. Okay, one of the last features, don't forget to put some eyebrows. That kind of, I always start in that kind of middle part of it angled and then go up and down as I kind of bring that a little bit thicker on this side over there same thing a little thicker and then thinner on the side starts to make it look a little bit more like him go over some of the details in that just taking in between the lips as I say kind of stretch that out to the corners um, chin will go up and then back in up and in. Kind of rounds and frames out the face. Like I said, that'll be there. So I'm just going over darker on some spots to kind of hit those little spots. Um, neck will protrude out from here, so it kind of follows that ear. And this one also kind of follows that face. And that, that really slopes into uh, his dress shirt, his button-up shirt that'll kind of have a collar going one way and the other way this will turn into a like really skinny triangle going down this way and opposite the other way a little bit thinner 
<laughs> looks like a bow tie now, but we want to put that front uh, section of the tie where it goes down kind of over and across. That kind of fills in that area. And then this kind of part of the jacket goes this way, this goes the other way. And then his shoulders really go out to the side um, of each side. Oh, actually, as the shirt goes over, it kind of goes down a little bit over and then down. Kind of frames him <laughs> a little bit thinner. Like I said, he's a pretty thin guy. You know, adding those little details with the ears and the hair and all the little bells and whistles on here as I put the hope um, for the words, but I'll outline that. And Sharpie, so let's go through that real quick. All right, so there it is, starting to look good, a little bit more like the Shepherd Fairy poster that we are all used to seeing. A little of that poster or banner feel um, that was his definitely style and made this so recognizable. So let's make a little magic happen, just like... There he is, Barack Obama, our 44th president. In order to do this, I definitely used a lot of tools. Some of the colored pencil and crayons that I was using for some of the different pieces. I got my little collection over here of, oh my God, a trial and error. I got the picture over here. I did like a practice one. Inspired by the graphic poster um, by Shepard Fairey. Really, really cool. Of his artwork of how it got kind of transpired into a cultural icon of behind the scenes of how that kind of transpired for him to make this poster and stay with it um, and kind of the ups and downs of his artistic journey to kind of doing a couple pieces just out of nowhere and not really thinking that they would mean or turn into anything turned into being one of the most famous pieces in current pop culture political history as of you know in the modern era so that was really really cool it was kind of a little bit nervous at first as I always get to with portraits trying to make them look realistic but again pay, paying attention to some of those trademark features that people have to make them look like that person. So hopefully you guys had some fun with this. As always, I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's Art Channel. We'll talk to you guys later.